I do support Liam getting on with his life. Oh, okay. Sorry, I must have misunderstood. You know, you haven't known Liam very long, so I think what you really need to know about him is that he feels things very deeply, and right now he's hurting. Yeah, I, um, I know that, which is why I'm trying to help him. Great. Well, I think the best way for you to do that would be to leave him alone, because when you try and help, things get a little... Um... Uh, no, con continue, please. I actually, I want to hear what you're thinking. Oh, I was just going to say that things would be a lot different if you hadn't fallen into the sand, but, you know... Did, uh, did anyone see that happen, by the way? No, not to my knowledge. There were people around. Yes. I... <laughs> are you... Implying that I deliberately fell into the river? Do you? No, Hope. I was in Paris supporting Liam, just like I was before I even left the States. I didn't want him to give up on you. So the last thing I deserve are some kind of crazy insinuations that I deliberately fell into the river that's, to make him late. That is not what I said. Okay, well, that's what you're implying. Look, it's not my actions here who are questionable. I mean, why couldn't you wait a little while before rushing off to marry Wyatt? Uh, hmm. Well, I mean, blood tells, right? What does that mean? Oh, we all emulate our mothers. Subconsciously or not. I mean, your mum was involved with two brothers as well. So. Oh, I mean, my mother and I could not be more different. Kind of looks the same from here. The way you are speaking to me right now is so wildly inappropriate. I am your boss. I was brought here by my Uncle Eric because I'm talented and because I'm a forester. This is my name. It's my family's business. My legacy. You're a Logan. Don't get it twisted, Ivy. You were brought on to be a part of hope for the future. My line. My name. Show me some respect. Yeah, absolutely. As much as you deserve.